Hey y'all, welcome back to Spirit of the Outdoors. I got a couple of steaks here. Got the Blackstone fired up getting hot. We finna make stir fry. Let me bring you in just a little bit. All right, oh, this is some, I don't know exactly what it says. These are real steaks. So I've got some pepper, some onions, uh, just whatever we had left over in the refrigerator, really. Some bell peppers that's growing. Uh, none of our garden stuff is still, usually I make peppers till late in the year, but y'all, this year with everything dry like it is, it's hard, you hard pressed to have anything this late. So these steaks make good stir fry, a lot better than going and buying a little beef tips or whatever you buy at the grocery store. You better off to buy those real thin, like three dollar steaks. They used to be. Now they probably five or six dollars. That's a whole nother subject. Oh, that's a video we done already done. <laughs> but anyway, we're not gonna keep griping about the same stuff all the time. We're just gonna cook today and have a little fun. So what I'm gonna do is is uh, what they got on them steaks. That was in there from the packing of the packing facility. I'm sure it's not harmful. It's just, I don't rightly know what it is. It's, I guess meat for it from the cutter got on there. So we're gonna use our trusty little knife. You gotta have a small knife. Y'all, we out on the front porch. Lighting is not real good. It has done got dark on me. I had some other things I was doing today that you may have already seen in a video or may not have seen it. Depends on what happens, I guess. Um, so I'm going to cook stir fry. And I like to cook stir fry. Y'all, really, as far as my experience in cooking, stir fry was probably one of the first things I ever cooked at home when I was at home living with Mama. Uh, I got in the kitchen and just started cutting up meat and, and threwed everything in a skillet and... and and really amazed me and her how good it actually turned out being. So anyway, that's what I am gonna do tonight. We had these steaks, had some vegetables laying there and that just seemed like a good thing to cook. Um, also, I'm looking forward to cooking on this Blackstone. If you've been following this channel for any length of time, some of you know, some of you may not even have a clue. I did a video on why is your Blackstone not getting hot and how to reset that regulator that comes on it. In the comment section, I had several different people mention the fact that they were a couple of different models of this thing. Roxanne, you want this chunk of fat? Yeah, she wanted it. Um, they make basically what I call a Walmart version and then your premium version. Well, I did not buy mine from Walmart. I did not pay a Walmart price for it. Now, I did not buy the most expensive one they had, neither. Um, but what I wound up with was the Walmart version. And what that means is that the regulator on it is not the best regulator, okay? Worked good for me for a long time. Uh, I cooked on it a lot. I mean, I could cook, but I noticed that mine never would really season the top. Now, this is not cast iron. That top is not, it is never going to season like cast iron. However, it should somewhat season. It should turn black and get a curing on it. And just, you know, I'm feeding this dog them fat scraps. Um... And mine never did. I mean, it, it's spotty peel. Every time I come out here, which obviously we have high humidity here, the rust is is one of the things that I thought a lot. So what I did the other day is I got on Amazon and I ordered me a gas line and with a different regulator and all on it. And it has made a tremendous difference. I can really put the gas to it now. It will suck a bottle dry. I gotta go fill up my gas bottle. Um, but the last time we had cooked eggs on it before I changed that, and I've cooked them since I changed it, 
It took forever to cook some eggs, and I struggled like in the winter when we would have real cold weather and the power would be out and the ice storms. I'd come out here and try to cook on it, and I struggled. And I thought, well, and I'd reset it, and it, and it helps. That resetting it is a, a, a legitimate thing. I'm not going back on that video. That was a good video. It helped a lot of people out. Uh, it helped me out tremendously. And that, that works. You can reset that regulator that way. But that regulator is never going to do like you really want it to do, I don't think. Um, so anyway, I bought one, and now that joker will get hot. So I'm anxious to cook meat on it like this. We've cooked pancakes. We have cooked um, eggs, breakfast, sausage. But I have not cooked any like steak like I'm fixing to cook right now on it. So you see me cutting this steak up in little pieces. We're going to get all this seasoned and throw on there. Now tonight, y'all, I am going to experiment with a seasoning. I love garlic salt. Y'all know that I, I cook with a lot of lemon pepper garlic salt. So, But tonight, we're going to do things just a tad bit different. My friend Don Lanier, y'all hear me talk a lot about Mr. Don Lanier. He's a good friend of mine. Um, he met up with some guys up there in Kentucky where he was fishing. Met up with a man that makes a garlic infused salt okay it is black iron garlic infused salt um, Mr. Don said that he takes this uses it as a meat tenderizer and a marinade type put it on there and stick it in the refrigerator he said on his deer steaks they good so I did that and it is very good but tonight being that we ran out of garlic salt, unbeknowings to me, I said, what a wonderful opportunity for me to show this seasoning on there. The guy that actually makes the seasoning, Don told him about my YouTube channel. I cook a lot. And the guy said, well, send him this seasoning. See, tell him if he likes it, use it on there. Well, I have used it and I do like it. So we're going to cook one more time on camera with it. And, and I have not used it on camera. And we're gonna we're gonna see how it turns out tonight. Uh, however, I have no doubts about the quality and what it's gonna be like. So my cutting board been out here. I had to take my little sander to it and some sandpaper. Now I have I may have to add some lard to that. I am usually cooking with lard out here. I've got this turned up pretty high. I may have to turn it down. We're gonna get started that. So we've got this seasoning. I'm gonna bring you back over here, set you up to look at these. So we got this. We're gonna go pretty good with it right here. And I realize y'all, I get in the light. I don't have a studio set up with light. When I get the back porch that I keep talking about done, we're gonna set lights up where we can see what's going on. But that is black iron garlic salt. I'll put a good clip of it in there. Now, we're going to add a little tongue of saccharine because I didn't have any pepper. And then we're going to go with a little bit of oregano. Just regular old cheap dollar store oregano from the grocery store. We'll get that meat seasoned up right here. Get it cooking. Now we're going to get to started cutting up. I like to go with my onions next, and we're going to cut them up chef style. Uh, a real cook actually cuts them the other way. Y'all know about that? I bet y'all didn't know that, did you? I like them cut this way, but a real chef kind of cuts them the other way. All right. We're going to throw that over here. I'm going to cook some of these vegetables a little bit. I need to split that in just a little bit more. I'm going to have some big old giant pieces. And you can cut some of this stuff on there. When you got a good knife, oh, that's good enough. Pull my cutting board. I like my cutting board hanging off the edge back here. Let's see if Roxanne wants another piece of that meat. Oh yeah. All right, some of these, these are starting to turn a little bit, a little bit rough shape, but they'll be all right. I cut, ooh, right in there, got some mold. Let's get rid of that. That's why you cut into them and see. Let's 
Mm, that got a lot. I don't know. We might order. Let's call that whole thing. I ain't gonna fool with it. I got some more. Let's see what this one looks like on the inside of it. They so soft. I got out there and sharp my knife today. Yeah, that's all right. Cut them up little pieces. We got these carrots. Them take a little bit. Uh, I want a problem with carrots, y'all, is they roll off of this board. I have to what my board is cooked. I need to uh, I need to get me a thing and soak it with water. I'm just cutting these in smaller pieces. Brody likes the carrots. I like carrots too, but Brody will go get them and eat them raw. And these all of them was due to be cut up and cooked. to start turning this down a little bit. It, it get hot now. I didn't it used to not get that hot. I'll try to keep it where y'all can see what's going on. I'm gonna make me a, a spatula chopper. Miss Sue told me about one out of a that Doug and Stacy had come out of a cast iron skillet. So I haven't pulled their video up and looked at it but she sent me a picture of it. I liked the idea and y'all I got an old crack I've been feeding chickens in. I'm gonna burn it out. I may try to make me one and make me a spatula like this. This got cut on the side where I can, you know, use it, double it as a knife and all. I just usually break these open, right here up, throw them on on there. I'll mix all that together here shortly. I gotta get in a hurry on cutting up right here because. Oh, I'm getting behind. And I got some jalapenos. I don't know if I'm going to... piece of pepper on the floor. I felt it when I stomped on it. We got a lot of pepper to cook. cut up, y'all. Sometimes y'all I put some potatoes and whatnot else like that. Anyway, y'all, we're gonna get get this going on. I mean, I'm gonna have to cut that. efficient with a knife as I have been in the past out of practice I reckon and not want to this knife here is sharp now it'll cut your fingers off you if you ain't careful come back with a nub y'all ready to order to put a little of them jalapenos in there I'm afraid I better not bro well there went that pepper rolled off over where'd it go I'm gonna leave it sitting there. It went running off from me. I 
I believe we've got enough stuff, really. I think I'm going to let the rest of that rest over there. Y'all, there ain't no whole lot to this. Now, I'm fixing to re-season. We're going to go back with this black iron. Y'all, I'll put a link to this stuff down there. If I can find it now, that is. I think I got a link to it. I'll get one. I'll get one. We're going to put it pretty liberal on that meat. Alright. And we're going to go back with some oregano on the vegetables. And old brother Tony. You can't go wrong with brother Tony down south. Y'all, one day we're going to be on the back porch back there cooking where everything looks a lot better. There won't be vehicles and junk all in the background. I got to get all this stuff off the front porch anyway. I won't get me a actual good looking cooking set up back there where everything looks good, especially when we're cooking after out because in the winter time when you got a fire going and all that kind of stuff, you won't be outside cooking. You're going to need, it's going to be dark, need good light. So I'm going to try to set everything up back there when I get it done where it looks good. Wipe that off real good on your britches leg. I was going to tell y'all, little old Ma Sale, y'all, he surrendered the other day. Come forth, had both hands up. Said, I surrender. Said, Ma Sale, what in the world? He said, that president said he done declared war on poverty. I said, what in the world are you talking about, Ma Sale? He said, if that president takes our poverty, said, we won't have nothing. I said, he ain't going to hurt you. He's going to try to help you. I said, what you need to do is go down there to the unemployment office and sign up. He said, I don't want no handout. I said, oh, it ain't like that. They're not going to give you a handout. I said, they'll help find you a job. So him and old Ben DeLauder went out there, dressed up in the best pair of overhauls. They went down there and signed up. They called old Marcel in there first said, what do you do for a living? He said, I cut pup wood. He said, and I'm good at it. He said, you may be. He said, but we've got all the pup wood cutters we need. He said, just put you on the list. He said, if something comes up, he said, we'll let you know something. Next up, Ben DeLauder went in there, sat down, said, what do you do, sir? He said, I'm a pilot. He said, man, yeah, said, that's a skilled occupation. Said, we'll have you working, he said, next week. He come out, big smile on his face, told Marcel, said, they're going to have me to work next week. Marcel got fighting mad, poked his lip out, bowed his chest up, swelled up. He walked back up in that office and said, what's this I hear? You done give him a job next week. Told me I can't have a job. He said, yeah, but he's a, a skilled occupation. Said, he's a pilot. Marcel said, yeah, he is. Said, one of the best I've ever worked with, too. He said, but you don't understand. He can't work unless I work. Said, I've got to cut up the pup wood before he can pile it. Boy, don't you know there's going to have a mess. <laughs> Let her put old Ben D. Lauder. <laughs> Y'all, we got this going on right here. This thing is cooking. I'm fixing to turn it back up good right here. Make sure I didn't cut it off there. You can reach over here now on this gas bottle. Oh, you can make it turn blue up in there now. I'll show y'all. Y'all watch right around under you when I turn this knob. You see that? Yes, sir. Y'all have to forgive all Brody's toys and my junk. See that knob I got right there on there? Look. It's even got a little regulator. Thing. I'll put a link to this deal on there. You got you one of these black stones and yours won't cook good. We'll fix you right up. Yeah, buddy, y'all. This thing right here. You can take this black top, right, this flat top. And the more you cook on it, the more cured it'll get. You see how this end down here, I don't know if y'all can tell in the dark, but it's real dark down here on this end. It's cured good over here. And this side down here ain't cured that good. But anyway, it is a cooking, I mean cooking now. See what a piece of that meat right there. Oh, it's hot, hot. You gotta do it like this right here.
Oh, man. It ain't a big bottle, but hey, that's good stuff right there now. I don't know how much it is. It says for pasta, poultry, beef, pork, seafood, and veggies. Well, all of that goes in a stir fry, so it's got to be fine for a stir fry. So anyway, oh. To reorder, call Rick, it said. Y'all know Rick? We finna make Rick famous. He may not like it, but hey. I don't know if y'all can see that number or not right there. Can you? I'll read it off to you. 606-306-1730. I'll put that down in the comment. In the... In the Description box. Y'all know what a description box is? I'll be linking stuff down in that description box. And I don't think some of y'all ever even go look at it, you know. They frowned on my old uh, Amazon did about me linking stuff there. They said I was supposed to tell people that it was Amazon. I, if they want me to talk about Amazon, they're going to send me a check for what they're going to do. I'm not talking about Amazon for free. I'll fire them. No more than they pay me. Two or three dollars. They getting plenty of money without me running my head about them. Anyway, y'all, I'm fixing to go get something in there to put this on. And, uh, man, it is cooking up. Looks good. Looks good. See if them carrots is done. And they're a little steel. A little steel. Might need to cook a little bit. I'm going to turn it. Turn it back up here. Let it go in the brown. This is called a stir fry because you got to stir in it while it's while that pan's hot. Of course we ain't got no pan, we got this flat top, but you got to stir in it. I'm fixing to run in there and get something to shovel it off in. We're going we're gonna to eat. Now, y'all will have to forgive all this. Now, you know my, my setup out here ain't just spit span. The part up here I'm cooking on is, but I know all this. Y'all would love for me to scrub all that where it looks brand new. I'll be honest with y'all. I'm too busy for all that. I didn't I did know. I'll be glad if somebody wants to come over here and scrub on that, clean it up for me. It needs it. Now, I'd sure appreciate it. I wish it was clean. And I get out here and clean it occasionally, but out here on this porch, man, y'all, you can't keep that stuff spotless. Maybe one day I'll hire me some of them folks to run around in the little green suits in the background like old Charles does. Old Charles that does that cooking over, I mean, that growing no dig gardening, you know. He tries to portray, he does all that right by himself with a little dab of compost he makes there. Every now and then in the background, you see little men in green jumpsuits running around everywhere jerking weeds up trying to keep it maintained. I'm going to get me some of them and keep everything spit and span and then try to tell y'all I do it right by myself. All right, we're going to go in and eat. I'm going to go and take this in there. I, I ain't going to bring y'all in there and let y'all watch me eat supper again. We done done that enough. Oh, uh, but now no, I have well sampled. The cook is supposed to do the sampling right here while you're cooking. Go. If you need to add a little dab of this, a little dab of that, you don't know that unless you tasting of what you are cooking out here. Mm. Yeah, I, I'm I'm a fan of this stuff. Y'all get your bottle, try it out. And then let me know what you think about it. That man would show appreciate you buying some of these. Oh, um, so I'm happy with my regulator and all. I'm gonna link it in Amazon whether they like it or not. They might cut me off one day. Hopefully they don't try to sue me. I ain't got nothing they can come get. I reckon they can come get their line back. They don't like it. Oh, uh, but anyway, it made a huge difference in cooking on this thing. And uh, I, it ain't rusted up no more since I've been doing that. Which, the humidity ain't as bad right now. It's dry here, y'all. 
I looked up the other day, y'all, there was some fish out there. I went down to the creek. Them fish was toting canteens up the creek. I'm telling you, it's dry. Oh, thank y'all for watching Spirit of the Outdoors. A little bit of cooking, showing you a little how we do things. Hey, fine eating right there. So, we'll see you next time. Remember, the best way to do things is the way you like to do it. We'll see y'all. Y'all have a good one.